End Time Ministries International Bible University is the premier Bible teaching university, graduating students for 50 years and discipling, equipping, and commissioning them into their callings. EMIBU has been established by Dr. Ken and Lorella Meyer with Dr. Joseph Nasrala as academic dean. Our accrediting body is the largest Christian accreditor in the world, giving you the opportunity to study and earn your degree from anywhere in the world with our online curriculum. Whether you are a new student embarking on your first year of study or a minister of many years who is looking to return back to the classroom, with EMIBU, you can fast track your success. Enroll today and get started on earning your degree in associates, bachelor's, master's, or doctorate programs in a wide variety of theologically based, Holy Spirit inspired, and Christ centered studies. Enrollment is easy. Simply go to universityontheair.org. On the menu, click applying to the university. Fill out and submit our one page questionnaire and our registrar will process your application and contact you to complete the enrollment process. Affordable, effective, practical and convenient, Christian education is now available to you. Put faith in your future and enroll in EMIBU today. Welcome to University for the Nations. And the University for the Nations, what is that? EMIBU End Time Ministries, International Bible University. And of course, you can contact us, universityontheair.org. And it is inspired of the Holy Spirit. It is God's school preparing you for the end times. And so we need to know the Word of God. If we do not know the Word of God, woe to those that do not know the Word of God, for they will not be prepared. And I'm going to read just a little bit from the Old Testament concerning... Now, the Old Testament is the New Testament concealed. And the New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. And so I'm in Malachi, and... The Lord says, Behold, I will send my messenger. He shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom you delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts, but who may abide in the day of his coming? That's our Jesus. And who shall stand when he, when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi and, and those that are teaching and, and ministers and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto the Lord an offering of righteousness. And so these are the reasons why we need to know. And in Malachi 4, for behold, the day comes that shall burn as an oven. All the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that comes shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts. And it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you, you see, there is a remnant that God is raising up. Those that are prepared in the word of the Lord. And we, we're not to be ignorant of his word. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and you shall grow up, in other words, learning, maturing, and calves in the psalmings with full meat, full milk. You shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. The day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Amen. And so we want you to be, pre be prepared. Do not let it overtake you as a thief. For that, as the Lord says, that day uh, will come as a thief to those that are unprepared. Mm -hmm. But we know also the word of the Lord says the man of sin must first come. So we know how as Christians to deal with these situations. For our grade schools here in America are being turned upside down. 
as the word of God is being removed. And, and truly, they, the word of the Lord says, wicked shall seem right, and right shall seem wicked. And so we're in preparation. We are not those that are troubled. We have peace because we know, and we know that our God wins. And so the one who has had an end time vision to bring it to the nations is Dr. Joseph Nasrallah. And Dr. Joseph, what do you have to say about the end times? Thank you, Dr. Lorella, and thank you, Dr. Ken, one more, one more time with you in the program. I'm really honored. Um, what you have been reading about the word of God in Malachi and, and, and how the Lord is, is putting the word of God as a center, as a foundation. Right. Foundation of everything. Foundation of the anointing. Foundation of the prophecies. Because the word of prophecies. The foundation over all the rules. Mm -hmm. The foundation of the grace. The foundation of the, uh, the coming. The, next co the, the second the coming. coming. Of the Lord. Everything is in the word of God. Even said, Jesus said, I am the word. <laughs> he called himself. Uh, one of his names is the word. And... That's what That's I'm, I, I'm telling. I'm telling everybody: educate yourself with the Word of God is the most important thing you can do in your life. If you like to grow, if you just need to be a baby believer all 35. your time, okay. <laughs> uh, open the YouTube, open the Facebook, read yeah. one verse, and that's it. But to study the Bible, you're gonna bring the meat. Right. So you have some muscles. You mm -hmm. can you can face. Some, some sickness come to you. Oh, the word of God. Yeah, I got healed right. by the word of God. Oh, my God. You find yourself like God healed. If you like to be a warrior, a lot of circumstances happen to you, lacking of finances, everything, everything. If you have these muscles, you can face, and the only source for these muscles is the word of God. That's why we're opening this university. The law, we are operating this university to tell the people the word of God is your foundation if you like to meet your destiny, if you like to be useful for the Lord, if you like to be a baby Christian, everybody carry you, pastor crying every yeah. day, <laughs> going to the pastor every day, this is up to you, this is your choice. But if you like to be fruitful, if you like to be the, the person who God look at you like this, oh my God, I like to bless you more and more, at that time you need to study the Bible. After I studied the Bible all my life, it changed. I have been knowing the Lord. I, I'm a singer. I can sing. I can very singing is singer. very good. Praise and worship very good. But study the Bible is one of the most important thing if you yes. like to be developed. So that's why I'm. Uh, that's what my my thoughts about the Word of God. The Word of God without the Word of God, the, the, uh, there is a lot of. Uh, Saints in Egypt, a lot of people, warriors in Egypt have been in, when, when the persecution came to Egypt, when the mm. Islam came to Egypt, and when the people, like, like they call that, you know, the horses, the blood of the, the blood. Christians become all the way to the knees of the horses, to the knees of wow. the horses. Yeah. Because they keep killing, killing. Are you Christian? Kill, kill. Become Muslim or we kill you. At that time, how the people face this? Mm. Amazing disaster happening, persecution. They killed the kids on the lap of the mama. Oh. Mm. Can you imagine you bring the mama, become Muslim right now, or we kill you, your kids, seven kids on the road, like the line up. They what? kill them in, on her lap. Oh. And she keeps saying to them, oh, have the joy right now. She keeps talking a word of God. Wow. Over, over, wow. over the kids and the kids, oh, hallelujah, amen. And they went to the heaven and then after that, seven of them killed and they killed the mama. But how, how suffering is the mama have been yeah. seeing her own kids killed. How she got this joy, manifestation of yeah. the joy. It has to be the word. Yes. Yeah. Because she uh -huh. studied the word, she believed the word, she had the word in her Standing heart. The right God. now, there is a lot of people watching us right now. Yes. I feel the anointing, Dr. Lorella. Yes. Dr. Yeah. Ken, I Go feel the it. anointing right now. All right. You have <laughs> been going through a <laughs> big <laughs> circumstances. The only thing can reach you and pick you up from these circumstances, make your heart like a champion, is the word of God. Yeah. 
Read the Bible every day. Study yeah. the Bible every day. Ask your pastor about what is this, what is this. Ask the university like this. Join the university. Yeah. It has almost no cost for you. Hallelujah. Thank God the finances never stop us to educate people the Bible. Hallelujah. Right. This woman of God, this man of God have been sacrificing, selling their belongings to keep going, teaching the people. I have been witness that. So today is your opportunity right now i'm talking to some people watching us right now i don't yeah. know why i'm saying that but prophet prophetically i'm telling you right now you need to study the bible you need to yeah. start have these muscles you need to start to eat the uh -huh. meat enough milk enough baby cry no more milk hallelujah right. we need to eat the bible eat the bible eat the word of god yeah. that's my opinion of my thoughts about well the it, it, oh, it's yeah. very biblical Ooh. because Come as on. we are learning about 30 60 100 fold and and i actually learned that truth even before i as a baby christian mm. i you know <laughs> i was busy cleaning my house and so i i, I heard about 30 60 100 fold and i swept the floor mm. and i said that's 30 fold you sweep mm. floor but there's this hidden dirt when i washed the floor that mm. was 60 fold but when I put the wax on and made it shine Alleluia. for the king, that Glory. was a hundredfold. So when this, this truth became so real to me, mm. we're justified, washed in the blood, mm. see? And then as we are obedient, as we are obedient, then we move on into the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes and he teaches us truth. Mm. And, and, and so sanctify them in truth. What is truth? It's the word of God. Mm. You know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So in that sanctification, that means being set apart, mm. you'll begin to hear the calling of God. The word of the Lord will become yea and amen to you. And so then we go on. Uh, so then we go on to a hundredfold. We're washed in his love. Mm. And can I say, I think Joseph is one of the... Dr. Joseph is one of the closest ones I've known to a hundredfold because mm. you love your enemy. Mm. You pray for those that persecute you. So we're being perfected in the love of God. God calls his army, not the babies. It's like Gideon's army. Mm. Mm. Gideon's army, oh, hurrah, hurrah, we love Jesus, <laughs> 33,000. The Lord says, send all the fearful home. Amen. Sanctification, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the, so that was a 30 fold. Yeah. But he loves he loves those people. Mm. So then the next thing, the Lord says, I'm gonna try them at the water. That mm. represents the word. Mm. And those that were so selfish, it was just about me and my <laughs> walk. Yeah. But three hundred only three what's mm. three hundred a percentage of of thirty three thousand? It's uh, almost one percent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it's a remnant, see? Only that small remnant watched out for their brothers and sisters. Mm. Jesus the way, Jesus the, the truth, truth, Jesus the overcoming love, Amen. life. Washed in the blood, washed in the water of the word, and washed in his love. So that's our journey. Mm. 30, Amen. 60, 100 fold. And it is about walking with him and maturing in him and growing in him. And God is going to call that army forth. They're an mm. army of love that will execute the word of the Lord. Now, do you want to give a favorite scripture? You love the word. Give a favorite scripture. Ah, ah. This is the day the Lord hath made. Mm. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It would be a benefit to you, to everyone on planet Earth, if you memorized one verse every week. Mm -hmm. And we started sort of like yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and one of my favorites, so easy to memorize, it has uh, four words and five, five words and four words, total of nine words. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord. Hallelujah. Is We're not going to lack anything. My Amen. shepherd. Amen. I shall not want. Now, when it says, I shall not want, that's not just talking about food, raiment, and lodging. Mm -hmm. It could be a spiritual need. Mm -hmm. Have you been so discouraged that you want to just end it all? Mm -hmm. Some people do, and 
please don't do that. Reach out right now. Amen. Reach out to the Lord. Amen, Lord. Reach out to the Lord <laughs> because He's your shepherd and you're not going to be in want. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I get excited. I could just keep talking for, <laughs> for hours, I think, about the goodness of God. We have Dr. Joseph Nasrallah. 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 Amen. Amen. <laughs> Dr. Amen. Joseph Nasrallah, our spiritual son in the faith, and oh my, 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 he's been persecuted for the gospel. <laughs> and when I heard his story, I didn't even feel like I was worthy to be called a Christian. God is good. But anyway, Amen. surrender your life to the Lord Jesus. I Amen. think everybody here would recommend you to do that. And my lovely bride, she is so anointed. She's seen into the spirit realm. The Lord lets her look in okay, and see angels. Okay. And <laughs> hallelujah. I'm excited about that. I've seen angels one time. Oh. And wow, God. was that an experience. <laughs> oh, I don't have enough time right now to tell you about it, but if you want to come over here to the, <laughs> to the TV, Cross TV, you'd be welcome. And if you need to have any kind of a ministerial credentials, contact Education Mountain, as Dr. Nasrallah calls it, our, son, our spiritual son in the faith, Dr. Joseph Nasrallah, and my lovely bride, and they'll help you with that. And you can study the Bible, and it, you'll get an accredited degree, mm -hmm. not just something, a piece of paper, mm. stick on the wall, but it's for real. Mm -hmm. It's accreditation recognized by the world's largest non-governmental accrediting agency on the planet Earth, and we also have another one. So Confirm. I like what Dr. Joseph <laughs> said in the last program. It's like uh, two rails <laughs> going down, and you've got the train track. <laughs> It, it, it'd be kind of bad if you just had one wheel yeah. on the track <laughs> and the other one is dragging in the dirt. Uh -huh. So we love you. We bless you. We send word your way. We send the word of the Lord to you. So be encouraged. Be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So Dr. Kenneth Meyer said something that was so important. He wants, he said, he wants you to surrender. But those were God's words to you. Mm -hmm. He will surrender your hurts the sin that had so easily beset you and you have a desire to change right now. He's tugging at your heart's door. Man. I want you to pray this prayer yes, Lord. with your whole heart. Yes, Lord. Just say, Dear Jesus, Dear, Dear Jesus, Jesus, come into my heart. Come, come into my to heart. My heart. Forgive me of every sin. Forgive me of every sin. every sin. Wash me in your precious blood. Wash, Wash me in your precious, precious blood. blood. Write my name. Write my name. The book of life. In the book of life. Baptize me. Baptize me. In your Holy Spirit of love. In your Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit of love. love. I surrender it all to you. I surrender it all to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. For what you've done on the cross for me. For what you've done on the cross for me. I want to serve you the rest of my days. I want to serve you the rest of my days. In your precious name. In your precious name. Amen. Amen. And be sure and write in, call in, and you out there, Christian, you're you're wondering where to plant seed, the Cross TV is a most wonderful place. Oh, yeah. Because seven mountains, seven is a perfection, mm -hmm. the number needed. And the, the enemy is coming with the fullness of evil, mm -hmm. but God is coming with the fullness. In fact, he said for you to learn the full counsel of God. Mm -hmm. Do you have another word before? Before, before I, we end this show, I, and I know this is from the Lord right now, how many times you went to the doctors? How many years you have been going to the doctors? How many years you have been crying for the same subject all the time, day and night, day yes. and night? How many times? One drop of the blood of Jesus right now. You don't need much more time. You just need to surround, like Dr. Lorella said, you just leave it all to the Lord. I have been witness a lot of healing miracles happening, a lot of breakthrough in the finances, a lot of breakthrough in the, a lot of problems have been solved with just one minute. And this minute yeah. is now, all is right. now. Say with me, it is now, it right is now. now. The breakthrough is coming yeah. over your life right now. Stand up, hallelujah, from your wheelchair. Stand Amen. up from, from every sickness that you yeah. have. The Lord is, is, is removing that right now because he has the power. One drop of his blood One on the drop. cross is more than enough to wipe all those years' pain 
all those years shortage and all those things happening in your life right now. That's our purpose. Th that this university is to teach you that you still have the miracle active in your life. You can activate the miracle in your life, not just 30, not just 60, but 104. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. 30, 60, 100. We are the 100 people. Hallelujah. The hey. 100 people Moving like, uh, like following, following, following the manifestation, the glorifying. We are not baby Christians. Mature we need to grow in up in the word of God. Yes. Go study the Bible. Go read the Bible. <laughs> Go study with us in university for no cost, almost no cost. Just the lights. That, that's what they say. The numbers on the screen. Enroll today, enroll today. Yeah. You're going to find the very good people here in Duarte and in Whittier. There is a lot of good, in, and also the Downey and Whittier, and the, there is also in the north, there is a lot of yes, camps. Yes, uh, Santa Clarita is going Santa to pop Clarita, up again. Santa Clarita, hallelujah. Yes, that's up our Filipino We're going to find the branch next to you. If you are in Taiwan and Egypt, we have this one on air as well. Hallelujah, yes. hallelujah. Feel free to call 805-825-7932, 805-825-7932. And remember, the, the law of the Lord is perfect. Amen. Yeah. It'll perfect that which concerns you. Converting the soul, in other words, at what the Lord told Peter, when you're converted, strengthen mm -hmm. the brethren. You'll be filled with the love of God. Amen. You can be saved and not converted. When we're saved, sometimes as babies, like the little children, they want, 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 want. But when you're converted, turned around, Amen. totally turned around, strengthen the brethren. Become a blessing to the body of Christ. And remember, he's a God that absolutely will meet your need. In Matthew 24, 14, and this gospel of the kingdom hmm. shall be preached unto yes. the ends of the earth. And the gospel of the kingdom is described in 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. The very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray that your body, soul, and spirit be preserved. In other words, the whole person. And that's why miracles are happening. You can walk in miracles, as Dr. Joseph brought out. I pray that your body, soul, and spirit be presented blameless unto the coming of the Lord, meaning Amen. full maturity, sons and daughters rising Amen. up, blessing others as Jesus is. And you say, I'm not like Jesus. Ah, uh -uh, wait a minute. You have the Spirit of God and you grow up into him. And as he is, so shall we be Amen. in this present world. And uh, Dr. Joseph, will you give a blessing before we go off the air? Hallelujah. Lift your hands with me right now. And the word of God in the Bible means a prophetic word. This one means Nava. N -A -B -A. Nava. Nava, Nava, Nava. This Nava means something going to be boiling inside you. Mm. When you read the Bible, it will never come back empty. It has to success for what the Lord sent it yes. to your life. So this is very, very obvious. The only thing can be success in your life is the word of God. Naba, naba, naba. Something will be bubbling inside you. Something you're going to find yourself shaking and, and shaking and shaking. And, and all the not good things have been going away from you. And the Lord is filtering your life to have the right things inside your heart when you read the mm. word of God. The third thing is overflow. You're going to be fruitful. You're going to be blessing to others. Hallelujah. So lift your, your hands right now and say mm. with me, Naba, Lord, Naba, I need Lord. Naba to be activated in I my life activated. right now. Not I'm now. blessing you right now with this Naba that yes. have been activated in my heart. Yes. I, and I, will ne I will never be the same. You will never be the same after yes. this. You will never be the same after this show. Yes. Lord, send your anointing over those houses mm. have been opening or the computer, laptops, or every, everywhere, mobile, wherever you are right now. Lift your hand and say to the Lord, shout, Naba, Naba, Naba over my life. Naba. In the Naba name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. We're now coming to a close and the Lord is going to bless you. Amen. 
He's going to keep you. He's going to make his face shine upon you. Amen. He's going to give you everlasting peace. That's what it's about, being prepared. And by the way, I like to think about the word being prepared is being pre-prayed. Mm. And when you begin to call upon the name of the Lord, you'll find a great and mighty deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Again, I want to say, may the love of Jesus Christ, may the love of Jesus Christ and the mercy of the Father and the presence of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you shall abide in the house of the Lord forever. forever. Amen. Amen.